Hello everyone and welcome to this year's Project RiteTube video. If you're new here, my name is Alina, I'm a fiction writer and I post videos about books and writing. And this is where Project RiteTube comes into play. This is a collaboration between a lot of author tubers aimed at getting you ready for NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. It happens in November and the whole point of this challenge is to write a novel in a month which can be tough and fun at the same at the same time it's something i've done for quite a few years and i'm really into and today what we're going to talk about is organizing virtual write-ins finding writer friends and getting the most of the collaborative and community aspect of NaNoWriMo a little bit about me I am from Romania. I lived in Bucharest and then moved to my hometown. Well, it's actually a city called Ploiești. And while I was in Bucharest, I did attend some real life write-ins. If you have those in your area, I definitely recommend them. It's usually cafes or libraries or bookstores organizing them and you can go hang out with other writers and write for Nano. It's great because it gets you to connect with people and uh, stimulates your writing. Now, why are these community-driven writing efforts so effective? Well, if you ask me, <laughs> I'd say it's because of shame and peer pressure. <laughs> but it's actually kind of true because when it comes to yourself, you're more than ready to come up with excuses that you're going to buy when you're supposed to meet up with people online or offline to write you have you have to have a way better excuse not to show up especially if you're organizing the get together <laughs> the peer pressure part is not exactly pressure more like the whole vibe of a group of people writing writing is usually quite solitary and when you do it with other people you feel that energy of everyone creating and writing and thinking up cool stories and that's that's the best thing about NaNoWriMo plus you feel less alone you realize just how many people are embarking on this journey with you and it feels great it it honestly just feels great when it comes to virtual writings there are several ways you can do this first NaNoWriMo itself introduced a system on, on their website where you can host public writings and writing sprints and you can choose the time limit for each and then everyone who joins will have their word count displayed at the end. This is great. It's a, a great starting point, especially as it allows you to count um, words per sprint and it automatically adds them to your NaNoWriMo count. But while it lacks is the chat in between sprints the encouragement you get from other people who say you can do better you did so great this time but we can push through and get more words done today there are a few ways to get that sorted one of them is group chats you can have group chats on facebook messenger or on google hangouts or you can even make them video calls where all of you can see each other and hear each other typing which is pretty cool these can be as private as you want them or you can do them as I do them which is I host them on my YouTube channel there are live events and authors can join either live on screen with us or in the chat and we have start time and end time and everybody's sharing what they're writing what they're doing and asking for advice is really cool if you are more of a private person and you do not do not want the online discussion aspect of it you can do it through a facebook post and you can just announce it in the comments and people can comment there and there is no direct interaction although that's the part i like the most you can do it through skype or any other messenger app you want it's easy to set up you just decide on a time and that's it now what's important about this writings and writing sprints is that you need to find your tribe. You have to find your group of writers that you mesh well with and that inspire you and support you and that you in turn inspire and support. This is quite important because if the people you write with have different goals, there might be a sort of a disconnect. So if you're writing with people who only write for NaNoWriMo once a year because it's fun and you 
actually are looking into building an author career, you will have a different approach, a different take, different goals, and you'll be more interested in writing every day and getting your stuff done and then edited and then published or I don't know, query it depends on which r route you, you take. Again, if you do this just because you're starting out, you're, you're going to try it just once, you're better served writing with people who have the same interest because if you team up with a bunch of writers who have published books and who do this, well, pretty much every month, their word counts might be high enough that they intimidate you. It depends on the type of person you are. I personally prefer to hang out with people who are writers uh, that are looking into turning it into a career. It doesn't have to be a full-time career, but they need to aim at publishing at some point or being published because there's a different drive. And I've, I've learned that through experience. When I write with hobbyists, their approach is very different from mine. And when I used to organize write-ins, they'd show up and want to chat about anything else but writing and they wouldn't really want to write, which I, find kind of, I found kind of annoying <laughs> because you know I was like, I have to do this. I have to get my words down and you know, move on to other tasks that I have throughout the day. So try to find people who you click with, who have similar goals. They don't have to all be like published and career authors for it to work, but they have to have a similar drive to yours. And once you find this, this group and you get used to having, oh, that's my dog interrupting as always. There he is. I hope you can see him. Uh, anyway, once you've found your group of people, it's nice to hang on to them and continue doing this after nano. You might not write as much as you do during November at first, but keeping in touch with your group of author friends is really great. I made a lot of friends in the past two years that have similar interests and similar plans for their author career to mine. And the moment we started working on Nano last year, we just kept it going and we had weekly write-ins and it's been fun. I took a break from that. I broke my leg, but I'm going to start again and there will be a weekly write-in on my channel every Saturday. Sarah Scharnweber, who I'm going to link down in the description, has a write-in every Friday. Ember and Sky, who I've, I'll also link below, host their own write-ins. So there are a lot of places where you can get started. If you're too shy to join us live, it's fine. You can join in the comments and maybe in those comments, make friends or just check out the author cube group on Facebook. I will link that as well. Usually people talk a lot about NaNoWriMo during this period and it will be quite easy to find people you click with and you want to write with. Again, this is important because the general vibe of people wanting to write and create will inspire you and will drive you. You will have way better excuses not to attend and the number of times you don't write will diminish because of the group um, support that you're getting. And yeah, shame and peer pressure, they work. I've tried it. Deadlines also work, so give it a try. If you have any questions about everything I've said in this video, please feel free to ask them down below. Make sure you check out everyone else's Project Write You videos. There's a playlist that TA Woods or Tamara Woods is the organizer of this. I did not mention it at the start of the video because I'm an idiot, but well, <laughs> she maintains a playlist of all the videos published during the month of October, which is also known as Preptober because it's prepping you for NaNoWriMo. And she's always really great at sharing all the videos and supporting all the content created for you. I would really appreciate it if you checked out her channel and subscribe. Maybe check out and subscribe to everyone who's joining Project Writecube. All the content I've seen so far is amazing. And um, yeah, I'll see you very soon on this channel. And if you want a bookish treat for the weekend, for once I have some <laughs> news relating to my writing, uh, my Christmas novella 
an exo dog and winter wonderland is currently on sale because you know there's christmas stuff everywhere so why not jump on that bandwagon and um it's now discounted to 99 cents it will be like that for about a week hurry up and get it if you're a kindle unlimited subscriber maybe borrow it now because at the end of this promotion it's days in kindle unlimited will be numbered because it's going wide in december so yeah hope you enjoyed that hope you've enjoyed the video do give it a like comment if you have any other suggestions to people who want to find a way to do virtual write-ins and um, yeah questions like i said always happy to answer them and um, yeah subscribe if you haven't especially if you like my brand of very rambly videos which i never script i probably should but when i script them i get worse <laughs> anyway enjoy your sunday have fun with nanorimo don't stress too much but then let the writing juices run through you and get a lot of words done it's a tough balance to keep but i'm sure you can do it and um, i'll see you at the next writing Bye!